Hi, I'm Vicky Gillians, course administrator for John Hall Venice. The course is for gap year students and it runs once a year from the end of January to March. John, you've been running the course for 45 years. Please can you tell us what makes the course so special? Uh, well, I get letters from lots of students and parents and what seems to be the reason why they all recommend it when they've been on it, about 85% of our people come through word of mouth recommendation are about four things. Uh, one is the fact, which may seem very odd in advance, that we spend a lot of time in one city and don't divide the time equally between Venice, Florence and Rome. For example, next year we'll be in Venice for five weeks, we're in Florence for one week and Rome for six days. But in retrospect, people love that because they get to know a city, they feel part of it, and they don't feel that they are like tourists. When we go to Florence and Rome, we are tourists. We're there for a short time a week. We have to see the top 15 works of art, and it's just like a sort of sixth form art tour. It's not really living in an Italian city. So that, I think, is one reason why people very much like this course, and no other activity that's done in Italy for gap year people is at all like that, I think. The idea of living in the most beautiful city in the world for six weeks, oh, an amazing experience, a perfect pre-university course. Actually living in Venice as a resident and meeting so many new people, oh, amazing. Second point is that if you do spend time in one city, of course you see all the works of art, you're living with them, you walk past them every day, but it also leaves you time to bring in lots of other interesting subjects which a lot of the students haven't been exposed to before but find very, very interesting. For example, we have as many people talking about various kinds of music as we do about art. We have a brilliant film critic who talks about international world cinema, apart from Hollywood, which is fascinating for a lot of people. And then we have people talking about English poets in Italy and, thing, and things like that. So there's a lot of things beyond the art that are dealt with on the course. The balance between art history, film, music, English poets in Italy, photography, was perfect. The whole thing has been a brilliant experience. The variety of subjects also means that it is constantly refreshing and great to be with so many fun people. The third thing is that the people who do the teaching, who come out from England, are very, very distinguished people in their different fields. And a lot of students say, years later, after university, that they were never exposed to such brilliant people as during their time in Venice. These were the most interesting and enjoyable months of my life. I don't think I've ever learned so much in such a short time about subjects which I thought I could or would never take an interest in. And the last, the fourth point, is simply that we have private visits to places that are very difficult to get into or incredibly expensive. And, for example, the Uffizi in Florence, the Vatican in Rome, the Villa Borghese. If you go into those places, normally it's like going to a football match absolutely packed with people you can't stop, you can't talk, and we are there entirely on our own. So those really are the four reasons, I think, why it is so, as I say, 85% of the people who come, come because they've heard about it from people who've been on it, or their brothers, or their sisters, or their parents. I know I shall treasure every memory of the course. I haven't been so happy and so consistently happy for a long time. To organise something running for eight weeks, in which every moment is enjoyed, is no mean achievement. We were delighted with the whole course. It was everything we had hoped for and more. Our daughter got an enormous amount out of the whole experience, and we feel it was money well spent and an excellent use of her time. I am impressed by the efficient way the whole thing was organised, and with the depth and breadth covered. The course is imaginative and inspirational and they are a privileged group of young people.